Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we take a closer look at some of the most unforgettable moments in entertainment. In this episode, we're highlighting those times when celebrities were confronted with rude or inappropriate questions during interviews. Despite the uncomfortable situations, these stars managed to keep their cool. Or sometimes they didn't, and their responses are absolutely iconic. So, let's dive into these 16 moments where movie stars were disrespected during interviews and how they handled it. Let's kick things off with Robert Downey Jr. During an interview to promote Avengers Age of Ultron, things took a turn when the interviewer decided to dig into RDJ's past instead of sticking to the movie. Here's how it all went down. The reason I'm asking about the past is that you, you've talked in other interviews again about um, your relationship with your father and the role of all of that in, uh, you know, the dark periods you entered and, and taking drugs and drinking and all of that. And I just wondered whether, you know, you, you, you think you're free of still something Sorry, you... I, I really don't know. What are we doing? I, I, well, I'm just asking questions, that's all. I mean... Okay. Bye. Thank you, guys. Are you? Oh, I'm sorry. I <laughs> Thank you. Do you? Did you see what? Okay, it's just getting a little dinosaur in your. No, no, no. Look, I don't want to do that. <laughs> now that's how you handle an uncomfortable situation. Our DJ reminded everyone that even the most patient stars have their limits. What made this moment stand out wasn't just his decision to walk out but the way he maintained his composure until he had no other choice. It was a masterclass in knowing when enough is enough. Next, we have Sandra Bullock, who found herself in a tricky spot during an interview with Matt Lauer on NBC News. Instead of focusing on her movie, The Proposal, Lauer decided to make some inappropriate comments about her nude scene. Let's take a look at the moment that made everyone cringe your last? Yes. I have now seen you naked. <laughs> and I'm so you. sorry about that. I have seen you naked. Were you able to sleep afterwards? I, I, you know, Why are you looking down? It's now my screensaver. <laughs> Why did you look down I was when you looking said at that? My notes. Not your notes, no, not no, over no, here. Yeah, they were yeah, right okay. there. That they would were, be this. They you were went right like that. there. Yeah. I didn't go like this. Just I went saying, like this. I'm just saying. Just You're naked for most of this movie. I am so <laughs> It's a no, long stretch. No, I'm not. I'm not naked for most of this. Except Emotionally a, naked. Except for a... <laughs> Sandra handled it with grace, but that moment became even more significant during the movement, highlighting the kind of questions female stars often have to endure. The conversation around this interview was reignited years later, showcasing how these seemingly small incidents can have lasting impacts, sparking broader discussions about respect and professionalism in Hollywood. Tom Hardy is known for his straightforward attitude, and he didn't disappoint during a press conference for his film, Legend. A reporter asked him a bizarre question about his sexuality, and Tom's response was priceless. In the film, your character Ronnie is very open about his sexuality, but given interviews you've done in the past, um, your own sexuality seems a bit more ambiguous. Do you find it hard for celebrities to talk to, their sex to, talk to media about their sexuality? But what is your question? I was wondering if you find it difficult for celebrities to talk about their sexuality. I don't find it difficult for celebrities to talk about their sexuality. Um, are you asking me about my sexuality? Um, sure. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> um, Thank you. you. Okay. Sometimes a simple, what on earth are you on about, is all it takes to shut down an awkward question. Tom Hardy's no-nonsense approach quickly turned the tables reminding the press that there are boundaries that should not be crossed. His response was celebrated by fans who appreciated his refusal to entertain irrelevant and invasive questions. Scarlett Johansson faced a similar situation during a press interview for The Avengers. When asked if she could wear undergarments under her Black Widow costume, Scarlett didn't hesitate to call out the sexism of the question. Here's what happened. You able to wear undergarments if you're you the, like the fifth person that's asking well, no, because it, what is going on <laughs> when did people start asking each other about in interviews no, about their no, underwear no because it is such a skin tight here's I'll why i'll leave it up to your imagination oh, <laughs> see? Okay? Is, is that... whatever you feel like i should be wearing or not wearing under that costume scarlett's reaction was spot on 
highlighting the double standards women often face in Hollywood. The moment went viral, leading to widespread support for Johansson and a deeper conversation about the types of questions female actors are asked compared to their male counterparts. This was a turning point that further fueled discussions on gender equality in the entertainment industry. Dakota Johnson's appearance on The Ellen DeGeneres Show quickly went viral when Ellen questioned Dakota about not being invited to her birthday party. But Dakota was ready with the receipts. It's good to see you. Happy it's belated birthday. Too. When was your birthday? It was October 4th. October 4th. <laughs> you turned 30. I did. And um, how was the party? I wasn't invited. Actually, no, that's not the truth, Ellen. You were invited. This time you invited me? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. How do you know? I don't think so. Ask everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Ask Jonathan, your producer. Who okay. said you were? I yeah, was invited? Right Why didn't I go? I don't know. That's one way to set the record straight. Dakota's cool and calm response left everyone talking. The exchange became a defining moment for Johnson, showcasing her ability to maintain her composure while subtly pushing back against misinformation. The clip continues to be referenced in discussions about how celebrities navigate their public personas and set the record straight. Christina Hendricks, known for her role in Mad Men, had to deal with an interviewer who was more interested in her body than her acting. Here's how she handled the situation. Christina! How lovely to finally meet you. look sensational, may I say. Well, thank you. No, you look great. I love your dress and everything else. <laughs> thank you. Christina made it clear that such comments are not only unprofessional, but also inappropriate. Her response was praise for its assertiveness, turning the moment into a powerful statement about respecting actors for their work rather than their appearance. Hendrick's handling of the situation helped shift the narrative and encourage a more respectful discourse in interviews. Jennifer Aniston found herself in a bizarre situation on The Late Show with David Letterman. In a moment that left everyone stunned, Letterman leaned in and pretended to suck on her hair. Forgive me if this is rude, I just want to try one thing. Okay. Anton. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? That was beyond awkward, and fans were quick to call out Letterman's behavior. Definitely not a moment anyone wants to relive. Aniston's professionalism in the face of such discomfort was widely acknowledged, and the incident became a talking point about the expectations placed on women to endure inappropriate behavior in public settings. Jonah Hill has had his share of awkward interviews, but this one takes the cake. He was asked if he still considered the fat guy in Hollywood. Here's how he responded. But are you still considered the fat guy when you go to a party or anything? Because I run into that a whole lot. I'm, I'm the fat one. Okay. So does that, does, are you the fat guy in Hollywood still? Or, or is everybody like look at you and they're like, oh, wow, you know, this is great. Now you're healthy. Uh, do you have any other questions that are smart? Jonah didn't hold back, flipping the script on the interviewer with a sharp retort. You go, Jonah. His response was a powerful reminder that actors are more than their physical appearances and it sparked a larger conversation about body shaming in the media. Megan Fox has long spoken out about the sexism she's faced in Hollywood, and this interview really put that on display. Instead of focusing on her work, the interviewer decided to get flirty. How's everything? Everything going well? Everything's going, Your yeah. career has become very big. Everything has taken off for sure. you. Yeah? Kind of. Kind of? Well, yeah. I think so. Oh, thank you're you. You're on the cover of every magazine. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you're on the inside pages of the magazine, yeah. too. Megan handled it like a pro, but it was clear she wasn't impressed by the unprofessional behavior. This moment was one of many that highlighted the persistent issue of sexism in the industry, prompting further discussion about the need for change and how female stars are treated during press events. Anne Hathaway was promoting The Dark Knight Rises when the conversation took a turn from her performance to her fitness regimen for fitting into the Catwoman suit. Check out her reaction. It was a couple days ago we finally saw the first photos of you as Catwoman. 
How do you fit into that suit? <laughs> uh, it takes three of us. <laughs> A lot of uh, lead time. Um, uh, Sit-ups, tricep curls, and, you know. But you're in phenomenal bench, shape right now. Bench kicks, I don't know. How, how much uh, you. weight have you lost to get into this shape right now? You did not just ask me that no, I'm question. I'm just saying, you're like... <gasps> what a forward whoa. young man you are. <laughs> My goodness. Anne made it clear that she was there to talk about her role, not her body. Good on her for setting boundaries. Her response resonated with many who were tired of seeing female actors' physical appearances being prioritized over their talents and achievements. During a press conference in Moscow for Friends with Benefits, Justin Timberlake was questioned about why he was acting in movies since his primary career was music. But before Justin could respond, Mila Kunis, who speaks fluent Russian, came to his defense. <laughs> It's always great to have a co-star who's got your back, especially in moments like this. Kuna's quick thinking not only protected Timberlake, but also showed the importance of solidarity in the face of unprofessional questions. Cara Delevingne faced an awkward moment on The Graham Norton Show when asked about an alleged incident involving sex on a plane. Here's how it went down. That's right now. No, we're well, talking we, about sex. We're talking about, we're talking uh, about... Uh, that having sex on a plane. <clears throat> <laughs> you were having uh, sex on a plane and someone was watching you. Yeah. What? Yeah. Um, <laughs> the pilot? No. <laughs> Yeah, it was... I don't even know how to start the story. Thankfully, her fellow guests helped steer the conversation away, but it was definitely a cringe-worthy moment. This incident highlighted the challenges celebrities face in maintaining privacy while under constant public scrutiny. Lindsay Lohan's interview on The Late Show with David Letterman is infamous for all the wrong reasons. Letterman grilled her about rehab, catching her completely off guard. Uh, aren't you supposed to aren't you supposed to be in rehab now? Are do you, you not watch anything that goes on? I in do. The tabloid now? now. Now here's what May I, 2nd. I was under the May 2nd. Yes. And how long will you be in rehab? Uh, 3 months. How many times have you been in rehab? Several. And what what how will this time be different? What are they rehabbing first of all? What what is on their list? What are, what are they going to work on when you walk through the door? We didn't discuss in the, this in the pre-interview. The interview was widely criticized for being insensitive, and Lindsay's discomfort was clear. The moment became a case study in how not to conduct an interview, reinforcing the importance of empathy and respect when discussing sensitive topics. Kristen Wiig found herself in an awkward spot when a reporter mistakenly thought she went fully nude in The Skeleton Twins. Let's take a look at her reaction. Kristen, I am thinking on this program of doing the news uh, completely full frontal, completely nude. Do you recommend that? And do you have advice for going nude? Um, do I have advice for going nude? Um, yes. And it has us in it, and it's a totally different movie. <laughs> this was great. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Chris, this is live. This one's going on the resume <laughs> tape right here. This is live, everybody. Kristen handled it with her signature humor, but it just goes to show. You should always check your facts. Her lighthearted response turned an awkward moment into an opportunity for laughter, demonstrating her quick wit and grace under pressure. Janet Jackson was promoting her film, Why Did I Get Married?, when she was rudely asked about the infamous 2004 Super Bowl incident. Here's how she and her co-star Tyler Perry handled it. Speaking of the Super Bowl, Janet, how often uh, do you consider that you single-handedly uh, rocked the broadcast world? Policy around the world, FCC policies have changed, and millions of dollars have changed hands as a result of that single did incident I, at the Super Bowl. Not only that, why did I get married when it opens on the uh, 12th here? It's, I think that people will see what a great actress he is. 
Tyler Perry took control of the situation and brought the focus back to what they were really there to talk about, the movie. Perry's intervention was a perfect example of how to handle intrusive questions while keeping the conversation on track. And there you have it, 16 moments where celebrities were disrespected during interviews and how they handled it. Whether they shut down the question, walked out, or simply deflected with humor. These stars showed that they're not just talented, but also incredibly resilient. Which moment did you find the most shocking? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more juicy entertainment content. Until next time, stay classy.